welcome back to Teal Crow's Homestead. Shelly here. And um, I was just wanting to do a quick video to share with you all something that um, has come to my attention recently. And I mean, I started hearing about this a few months ago, but um, I noticed when I was at work today that some of, like, I'm the training manager where I work. And so I do training classes and all of that. And in my classroom, I have, um, you know, like a basket of snacks sitting there and stuff. And um, I noticed that one of the packages of snacks had a term on them, on the ingredients, because I'm always looking at the ingredients of everything. It had a term that said, contains bioengineered food ingredient, just like this, right there. Do you see that? It says contains a bioengineered food ingredient. These are like chicken crackers from the dollar store. These graham crackers say the same thing. And um, so it just got me thinking. I was like, okay, what what, what is a bioengineer, bioengineered food ingredient? So I Googled that and it says that it's, um, it's taken from, um, you know, like food, actual food and it does something or there's, um, engineering, bioengineering done to the DNA of that food to change it, its structure. I don't really understand. I don't really understand why like whole food products need to be bioengineered to change their structure. That makes no sense to me. What's wrong with just the food? What, what's wrong with just the regular, why do we have to bioengineer anything? So it got me kind of going down a rabbit hole of um, this lab grown meat that they have out there. And, and so I started researching that a little bit. Y'all, I, I just, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't even know. So, um, lab grown meat is, is basically they take animal cells and, um, I'm pretty sure that all of that got started with, um, you know, when they started, um, growing animal ears and and sheep and goats and stuff like that in a test tube in a you know in a lab i'm sure how, that's how all of this got started um cloning i guess is what that's called so um a lab grown animal they take animal cells a small amount of animal cells and they grow from those animal cells like a slab of meat and it has now been approved to sell lab-grown meat in restaurants. Um, there's a company in California called Good Meat, and there's another one, I cannot think of the name of it, um, but they're kind of the companies that are spearheading this lab-grown meat thing. And um, they say that, you know, they're going to fix whatever issues we think we have with meat. I don't, I don't have issues with meat. Um, and one of the things in the article that I read, it said that um, they're not, so they're not processed. These animals aren't butchered, slaughtered, killed, whatever you wanna say, that's not gonna happen. So um, that's how they're making an, an argument for this, I guess, is that you know, it's not, it's cruelty free and that kind of thing. Y'all, there, there is just something fundamentally wrong with this. Like seriously. Tonight we're getting, we're going to process a couple of our hogs and, um, and then over the weekend we'll, you know, cut them into parts or, you know, cuts and all of that kind of thing. And, package them up and freeze them and if it's not um if it's not raised out on a pasture out in the sunlight I don't want anything to do with it if it's not seeing daylight and scratching around in the grass and eating food 
right? Saw my free ranging chickens over there. If it's not walking around on two legs and living its best life until the time that I need to harvest it, y'all, I don't want anything to do with it. That's, it's, it's just wrong. And the thing about it is, is that they're going to continue to do this. They're going to continue to decide to make bioengineered meat or lab grown meat I have a little green egg from my new Easter eggers but they're going to continue to, to make bioengineered meat lab grown meat or bioengineered food products or whatever as long as we continue to buy them if we continue to consume them they'll continue to do this it's, it's just I don't know it ain't my thing. I don't want anything to do with it. Um, and they're also, you know, having approved them manufacturing these slabs of fake meat. They're also selling them in restaurants. Um, I read an article where there was like this renowned chef in Washington, D.C. that is super excited about introducing this to his customers in his high-end restaurant. And maybe there's people out there that, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. I can't imagine that this is healthy for us. I, I can't imagine that, that growing something in a lab, it's just not supposed to be that way. But that's just my two cents. That's what I think about it. And that's why we grow our own food. That's why we grow our own meat. Because we're just not going to be eating lab-grown meat or bioengineered food products. Um, the bioengineered food products, the thing is on tons of labels. I came home and started going through my pantry. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And it took me, I don't know, all of a minute to find those two boxes in my pantry. So, yeah. Take a look. Educate yourself. Know what you're feeding your family. And, you know, I just want to take a minute and share that because I think that it's getting by and a lot of people don't know what's happening. So, yeah. Go grow something. Take care of your own food. And um, take care of your families. You know, y'all have a blessed day. God bless you. And I'll see you later. Bye. Yeah, God bless you. Have a great day.